Hi everybody, it's Deborah from PeopleLovingAnimals.com. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching today's video. Today's video is about how to keep your pets entertained while you're at work. Leaving our pets home alone all day is heartbreaking for them and also for us. We want to make sure, obviously, that they're safe while we're gone, that they're not anxious or afraid, um, that they're not getting depressed, suffering from separation anxiety, and we also want to make sure that they aren't being destructive while we're at work. So in today's video, I'm going to give you a ton of information and a ton of additional resources regarding your pets. The video is going to be a little on the longer side because there's going to be so much in it. I hope that you could stay and uh, just kind of chat with me a little while. But if you can't, I'm going to give you some timestamps and some links in the description box to make things uh, so you can get the information a little faster if you don't have time to stay through the whole video. But I hope that you can stay. I do uh, think that today's video is going to be helpful for you. If it is, please go ahead and give it a like and go ahead and share this uh, channel with your friends and family who have a dog or a cat. I do videos several Several times a month all about the care and health and training of dogs and cats and I also would like to have you on board as a subscriber if you're not already so again thank you so much for tuning in I appreciate the fact that you're spending some time with me today now if you've not been here before you don't know my name is Deborah I own this website called peoplelovinganimals.com and we're going to use this post for my website called keeping pets entertained while at work to guide us through today's video now I'm going to give you a link to this post in the description box like I say if you don't have a lot of time you'd rather go to the post you'll be able to see the tips listed very clearly and save you some time but I am going to be talking about some pretty valuable um, additional information today uh, in the video I'm also going to time stamp for you in the description the tips for um, entertaining your dog while you're at work and the tips for entertaining your cat while you're at work if you just want one or the other so let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, how to keep a dog entertained while at work. I've got six tips for you on this. First of all is to provide toys, but provide good toys. Uh, you might try interactive toys. You might try Kong toys. If you're not familiar with those, those are plastic toys that you put treats inside of, and the dog chases it all around the house to get... Um, to get the treat and it keeps them entertained and also if your uh, dog is doing any damage while you're away you might consider a chew toy uh, that might be a little better at keeping them occupied and not chewing on your couch <laughs> while, while you're away so I'm going to give you some links in the description box to go ahead and get some of these toys Okay, the second tip I have for dogs is to let them watch TV. Several years ago, I had a miniature dachshund named Maggie, and my dad would make fun of me for um, leaving the radio on for her. I would leave the radio on for her all day while I was at work, and he would, he's like, you're leaving the radio on for the dog? Well... It is useful. It not only calms the dog, you have just like a classical station on it, soothing music, but more importantly for me in that circumstance with that particular dog, I needed to kind of drown out the noises of the neighborhood because she would get riled. Uh, you know, she somebody, you know, the neighbor comes home, somebody's slamming a car door, somebody's going by on their bike, there's kids, and I just didn't want her to be upset by, it, by any of that during the day. So it was a good idea to leave the radio on for her. You could also leave the TV on. Now, if you don't know about this, you can stream a uh, uh, TV streaming service called Dog TV. I'm going to give you a link for that in the description box. It's a monthly membership, just like our Netflix or Hulu or whatever, and it's called Dog TV. And they have a lot of uh, TV that you can leave on for your dog when you're not at home to keep the dog mentally stimulated, to keep them distracted, to keep them interested, and also just to calm them. Another option is they have tons of hours long videos on YouTube for that as well. And I'm going to give you a link to go directly to look at some of those uh, videos. Now, the thing with the TV is you want to make sure that uh, either you don't do it every day or you change it to different videos and stuff because so the dog doesn't get bored and it's no longer effective. Okay. 
Uh, a third tip is to let them look out a window. Dogs are usually quite content to look out a window for several hours at a time. It keeps them distracted, especially if there's activity outside. Um, again, you want to make sure that seeing things outside is not going to overwhelm your dog. If they're going to get upset and get aggressive and be barking at the neighbors all day, you don't want your dog to be in a, an upset, riled up stage all, state all day. So if that's the case with your dog, you might want to close the blinds and just eliminate them being able to see all that stuff. Um, by the way, if you are having a problem with your dog barking while you're at work, uh, maybe the neighbors are letting you know, or maybe the dog starts barking before you even pull out of the driveway, I'm going to give you a link for a free tutorial from professional dog trainer Doggy Dan on how to get a handle on the barking situation. You're going to find that it's quite effective and helpful. I'll give you the link for it in the description box. The fourth tip for dogs is to make sure they get enough exercise. They say a tired dog is a good dog. So if you're able to take your dog for a walk before you leave for work, that's ideal. They've been outside, they've had some activity, the fresh air and exercise is going to help them to sleep during the day, burns off their energy, helps if you have a young dog or a hyperactive dog. But if that's not possible, just make sure that you're walking your dog every day at some point that the dog is getting exercise. Size. If you have kids, have them be playing with the dog outside in the yard every day. Dogs really do need exercise. And a dog who has not burned off their energy is a dog who's going to be more likely to destroy your couch or destroy things uh, while you're not at home. Okay, so exercise is a big factor for dogs. The fifth tip I have for you is to give them play dates. You can take your dog to a dog park regularly or you can set up dates with your neighbors or family or friends who also have a dog so the dogs can play together. Um, if your dog will play with other dogs, it's a great way to keep them fit, mentally stimulated and happy. Making sure that your dog doesn't have pent up energy is important for them to be well behaved at any time, especially when they're home alone can't stress enough how important it is that your dog is getting enough exercise. But obviously, if your dog has a health condition of some sort or if they're elderly, you're going to want to, um, you know, use good judgment as far as exercising. I'll try to remember to give a link for you. If I don't, you'll see it in my um, pet health playlist, I believe it is. Could be under the pet care playlist, um, exercising senior dogs. I have a video about that if you need some help with that. The sixth tip I have for dogs is to hire a dog walker or a pet sitter. This doesn't have to be a paid service, but of course it can be. Uh, if you would love to have somebody either checking in on your dog or coming in and walking your dog every day while you're at work, I'm going to encourage you to read my article called How to Find a Good Dog Sitter. It includes a video, and I'll give you the link for that in the description box. It comes with up with a lot of uh, great ideas on how you can arrange for that. Um, whether it's a paid option or not a paid option. Now, if it is serious, if you're really having a problem with your dog and you're like, oh my God, you know, the dog is not okay while I'm at work, um, I'm going to give you a couple of uh, suggestions. First of all, you might want to um, give a call to your veterinarian and tell them about it. Your veterinarian could have some good suggestions for you. You also might consider whether your dog is suffering from dog separation anxiety. I'm going to give you a couple of things for this in the description box. I'm going to give you my article called Treating Dog Separation Anxiety helping your dog to stay home alone. That includes a video. I'm also going to give you an inexpensive dog training program called the Dog Calming Code. You may have heard me talk about this if you've been on this channel before for my dog training videos. It's a super effective and super easy uh, dog training program for dogs who are suffering with um, separation anxiety. And then I'm also going to give you the link for a free tutorial, again, from professional dog trainer Doggy Dan, called Separation Anxiety in Dogs, Why It Has Nothing to Do with Boredom. So if you think that this might be the issue with your dog, I'm going to encourage you to go to all three of these resources. I'll link them for you and get some help with that, um, that issue in particular, okay? 
Now let's get on to cats. How to keep a cat entertained while at work. I have seven tips for you for this. First of all, provide food toys or uh, food puzzle toys. I don't know if you've ever seen these, but they're a great way to keep your cat busy because, you know, just like the Kong toy for a dog, they're a toy that treats her inside and they have to chase the thing all around the house to get the treat. And they also have puzzles where they have to reach in with their paw. They have to it's it's hard, not hard, but it's ac activity for them to, to get the treats out of the puzzle. It can keep cats busy for a very long time. I'm going to give you a link to find some of those on Amazon. And I also want to remind you with treat toys for your cat or your dog, make sure that you're not giving too many treats when you're utilizing these types of toys because you don't want your dog or cat to end up with a weight problem and you don't want them to have that be the bulk of their diet that they're just eating treats, right? And you certainly wouldn't and want them to overeat and get sick. There's my boy Whiskers. If you've been here before for my cat videos, you've seen my boy. He's about a year and a half old. My second tip is to buy, uh, provide a cat tree. That's Whiskers sitting in the top of his cat tree. We got that for him on Amazon. I'm going to give you a link so that you can see some. They have all different heights and all different sizes and, and prices. I am telling you, <laughs> the day that we got that cat tree was the best day of the cat's life. He couldn't even wait till it was out of the box. And he was just a kitten. He had never even seen one before. I don't even know how he knew that he should be excited about it. But oh my gosh, he was so excited. We put it together. This one's probably about... Um, I don't know, maybe four feet tall, four and a half feet tall. And uh, as soon as we got that put together, he climbed up to the top of that just as fast as he could. Because, you know, animals like to be up high. That, I think, was the attraction for him. Finally, something I can get up on. You know, they like to climb and they also like to sit up high. And it took him a couple of days to get the hang of jumping up to the top of that tree. He had to climb and then he would kind of fall and stuff. But in a couple of days he had the hang of it and now it is his favorite spot on earth I have it sitting in front of my sliding glass doors there's a tree out there there's birds out there there's squirrels and he spends he spends the majority of his day um and I know because I work at home um uh, laying on the top of that cat tree it's it's a huge um joy <laughs> in his life so if you don't have one already I'm gonna um advise you to do that because it's just it keeps them content and like I say if you can put it in front of a window they got something to watch all day they're gonna like it um, the third tip I have is to provide a scratching post whiskers loves his scratching post thank God <laughs> Um, not only will a scratching post keep your cat from destroying your furniture, but it also helps them to relieve pent-up energy. I'm going to give you the links on Amazon to go ahead and purchase these. And I'm also going to give you a link to my article called How to Stop a Cat from Scratching Furniture. It includes a video, and in that um, video, I teach you exactly how to teach your cat to use the scratching post. Okay, so if that's an issue for you while you're at work, go ahead and, and watch that video or read that uh, article and you'll get some help with that. Again, here's my boy sitting in my bedroom window. Now, we currently live in an apartment complex, so you can see cars and stuff out that window in the picture. There's a lot of activity here. There's people coming and going. Um, we happen to have a large shrub uh, right outside the house and or the apartment building. We also have a tree right outside. So there are birds, there are squirrels, there's activity for him. And he loves um, sitting in the window and watching all of this going on outside. A couple of things. First of all, I'm going to give you a link to find a window perch. If you don't have a window like this that has a sill big enough for your cat to sit on, um, or if you can, you know, put a chair up in front of the window, clear off a dresser, let them sit. If you don't have any way to get the cat in front of the window, you can purchase a cat perch and you just attach it to your windows like a little hammock that the cat can uh, lay in or sit in. I'll give you the, the links for those. Now, also, again, I'm going to try to remember to link this for you. If your cat's in the window, make sure that your screens are safe. You know, if it's summertime and you have this, the windows, and you, especially when you're not at home, the cat's there. I have a video on it. Um, I think it's called cat proof window screens um i can't remember i'll try to link it for you but there's i do have a video on how to make sure your windows are, are safe for your cats but obviously cats like to look out the window and um and again looking out the window not if they're getting upset you know for example 
um, if you have neighborhood cats, if you have neighborhood cats that are around, if you have um, feral cats that are around, um, you know, this might upset your cat. And obviously you'll know this because this will happen while you're at home. So, you know, if that's something that happens, then you might want to close the drapes. You might want not want to make it so easy for your cat to be looking outside. If there's something going on out there that's going to upset them. But I think for the most part, uh, having your cat being able to look out the window while you're gone is a good idea. By the way, by the way, if there's not much to see out your windows, you know, how wherever you live, um, if there's just nothing to look at, no trees, no shrubs, no anything, you can um, possibly put a bird feeder out there. Now, they do have bird feeders that have a hook that they can hang, like, from a gutter if you don't have, like, say, if you're on the second floor. Um, I had a second floor apartment once, and I hung a bird feeder outside the living room window, and it had a big, long hook on it, and I literally hung it from the gutter up above, um, you know, and it just hung down in the window. So I'm going to give you a link to look at some inexpensive, a whole variety of them on Amazon. So, you know, a bird feeder will keep a, a cat busy for hours. They, they love to watch the birds. So that's something you can set up, set up for them if they don't already have that kind of a view. The fifth tip I have for cats, just like dogs, provide music or TV. Now there are studies that show that soothing music can in fact, um, affect a cat's behavior. It can help to calm them down. Again, like I said with the dogs, you can put the radio on with classical music on softly all day. They also have YouTube cat music videos and YouTube cat TV videos. If you haven't seen those YouTube cat TV videos, I'm going to give you the link. Go ahead and click and look at them. They're really cool. They're like hours long videos and all it is is a big picture and it's live. Well, not live, but it's actual birds, squirrels, they have mice and rats. Oh my God, the cats love it. Whiskers is my second cat who has absolutely loved that. And they have sound, you know, the birds are chirping, they can hear uh, the things running around and it's it's thrilling. <laughs> okay, so if you can manage to set that up somehow so that your cat can safely watch that while you're at work, um, that would be a very cool thing. And you know, and, and again, that's a way for them to be distracted. It's a way to keep them entertained. And it's also a way for them to get mental stimulation during the day, uh, that sort of thing. So that's just a really fun idea. You know, I did not ever think of this until I was researching to write this article for my website. You can get a secured fish tank or a fake fish tank. First of all, I didn't know there was such thing as a secured fish tank. I'm like, if you have a cat, you can't have fish. You know, the cat's going to reach in there. He's going to get the cat. You know, he's going to get the fish. He's going to be splashed all around. He's going to be eating the fish. You know, I just assume. But they, they do, in fact, have secured uh, fish tanks that is safe to have around a cat. I'm going to give you a link to see those on Amazon. And they also have fake fish tanks. I'm going to give you the link for those. Now, I don't know if those are made specifically to entertain cats. I think they're more for kids. Um, but they're very cool and you can get all different sizes. You can get one that's just the size of a little fish bowl. You can get bigger ones. You can get ones that look like a lava lamp. If you know what I'm talking about, uh, it's like a tube and the fish are swimming around there and it's like fake, but they're, they're actually moving around, moving around. And so it's, it's a good way to entertain your cat. Uh, and you know, that's nice too. If you don't want to bother with a fish tank, you know, I've had fish tanks, uh, in the past and they can be a lot of work. You got to clean them and and everything. So take a look at those, um, the secure fish tanks and also the fake ones and see if that's something you might want to set up for your cat or your kids if you have kids. They're also very soothing. So you might want to set it up for yourself. Um, you could set it up in your bedroom and have it on at night and it's, it's a very soothing sound. I don't know. I never knew they existed. Another tip I have for cats is to find a, uh, oops, I'm sorry, I got a little pop-up coming up here, is to find a trusted cat sitter. And again, this does not have to be a paid service, but it can be. Now, if you would like to have somebody coming in uh, while you're at work to spend some time with your cat, I got really good ideas for you on how to get that set up. And I'm going to give you a link to my article called How to Find a Good Cat Sitter. That includes a video so that you can get more help and information on how you can arrange for that, okay? Always remember your cat does need exercise, they need mental stimulation, they need fun, and they need time with you every day. I'm going to give you a link for a video from cat expert Jackson Galaxy on the best way to play with your cat. He's got some ideas on how to engage with your cat. If you don't know Jackson Galaxy, 
He had a um, TV show called My Cat from Hell on Animal Planet, and he basically goes into people's houses and helps them with their cat. You know, their cats are fighting, whatever. And he is, in fact, a cat expert. He's got a YouTube channel, and it's very good. So I'm going to give you a link to one of his videos about playing with your cat and how important it is to play with your cat every day. And again, just like we said with the dogs, if you have an elderly cat or if you have a cat with health issues, be careful on uh, what you're doing. You don't want to overexert them and you don't want to give them things that are going to have them overly excited. And, um, you know, speaking of pet sitters, if you have an elderly animal, uh, dog or cat, or one with a health condition, it might be a good idea for you to set up for somebody to come in every day. Um, make sure that you introduce, make sure they're not frightened by the person. There's somebody to just come in and check on them and make sure that they're okay. And you know, the other thing too, which article was it that I wrote? It might have been um, caring for, seen, uh, I think the article is called uh, caring for an aging cat or a senior cat. I have videos on that. Um, one of the things about elderly animals is just like people, the older they get and the more health issues they have, the more scary it is for them to be home alone. You know, um, you can imagine, you know, if you don't see so well anymore, if you don't hear so well anymore, if you can't get around as well anymore, you feel like you can't take care of yourself. You feel like you can't get to the litter box. If you're starting to get, you know, dementia and you can't find your way to your water dish, you know, these things happen to pets as well. You know, so if you have an elderly dog or a cat, I'm really going to encourage you to um, just pay attention to what that animal might need uh, while you're at work. And again, I've got a lot of linking for, uh, to do during the or in the description box. I'm going to try to link those videos for you because I have videos regarding elderly dogs and elderly cats that will help you with that situation if you're having uh, something like that. A couple more ideas for cats. I have a couple of articles that include a video. One is called How to Keep Indoor Cats Happy. 10 things they'll love and this has to do with you know whether or not you have an outdoor cat or an indoor cat we, I do have videos on that but there are 10 really good ideas that will keep cats happy and so obviously it applies to this situation too where you're just trying to keep them entertained while you're at work I also have an article that has a video called leaving your cat home alone tips for safety and comfort and that talks a little bit more about making sure that your cat is safe and also comfortable while you're at work. I'll give you the links to those too. We're almost done. I'm gonna um, ask you to go ahead and share your ideas. If you have any ideas on how to keep uh, cats or dogs entertained at home, things that might have uh, worked for you that your dog or cat liked, um, I would love you to comment in the comment section below and share them with other people. I like the comment sections of my videos to become kind of a community where we help each other uh, with our pets and exchange ideas and someplace where people can look and get other people's ideas too, right? couple more things before we go. If you have not been here before, you don't know, I donate to animal charities. I do peoplelovinganimals.com as my job. And I donate 10% of the earnings from my website and also from this YouTube channel to animal charities. And if you go to the homepage of my website, peoplelovinganimals.com, you'll see a list of the animal charities that I donate to. So again, thanks so much for watching. I'm really happy that you uh, stayed here till the end. Uh, just as curiosity, if you're still here, would you please comment, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> in the comment box. I'm just curious to know how many people will stay with me for a video of this length. I think we're almost 25 minutes now. So I hope the video was helpful. If it was, please go ahead and give it a like. Please subscribe if you're not already. Please go ahead and share this video with your friends and family members who have a dog and a cat. I would appreciate that so much. Please feel free to comment with questions about anything. If I can help, I'm happy to do so. Again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Deborah and my website is peoplelovinganimals.com. Thanks again. Bye-bye.